I remember still we made the first business plan in a building. I used to live in a building which is down the road there. And uh, so we sat in the drawing room there and, uh, and we sat and we had chart paper and we sort of pasted it up on the wall and we sort of made our first uh, sketchy business plan. And, um, and I think, you know, if I, if I remember, our, uh, we had the most modest uh, uh, plan that I can think of. A journey that uh, Gokul and I started uh, in the morning, we took a Euro Tunnel connection from London, went to Paris, we had a meeting with a client in the morning, and then we took a train early afternoon, uh, had a meeting with a client in Brussels late afternoon, and then we took a train from Brussels to Cologne to have dinner with a client. Uh, so that was really covering kind of, you know, four countries uh, in one single day. Uh, we were extremely exhausted, but you know, these are some of the memories that you can never erase from your mind. When Anderson collapsed uh, and we joined uh, ENY, we were, all of us were feeling some vacuum or the other. And we thought that we need to create something that we all used to, uh, uh, to living. And that led to formation of uh, BMR. While BMR may be a 10 year old firm, uh, the team that comes together is more than 20 years old. So Gokul and I and Mukesh and Bobby and all have been together since 1991. And that is the biggest comfort. Mukesh and Bobby had moved out, um, they were contemplating setting up uh, BMR as a concept, it's still an idea. I was a young partner in uh, one of the big four firms, um, very enthusiastic about life. BMR was like, you know, a new country getting born in many ways because you wanted to do the things your way, you wanted to have your own way of democracy, you had to have your own constitution, you wanted to give people a right to speech and expression, a right to grow. In my view, the real strength and the resilience came from the fact that we all recognized each other's strengths and weaknesses. The fabric of the firm uh, really was woven uh, on the basis of friendship and professional relationships and that's really what keeps us together. That's also what differentiates us from many other firms because while we were the youngest firm to start, we were the oldest team uh, that was uh, working together. I feel that we couldn't have timed the startup at a better time. 2004 was the time when the economy just zoomed. As we started succeeding in smaller ways, the trust started building with clients, with people, uh, with all the stakeholders that we were, we were dealing with. And today, a journey, as I call it, from 60 to 600 people in 10 years, exactly 10 times, is something that we all need to be proud of. I think the difference we brought to the consulting business was an ability to believe in ourselves and not on the brand. To face the world, including the clients, uh, on our own capability, not at the back of a brand. We wanted to make sure that we continue doing what we do best, which is a passionate service to clients. The amount of time and effort that we take to deliver high quality service through experienced professionals makes the difference. And I think at the end of it, our competition should fear us. What has been most impressive is the way the firm has built out each of its business lines, be it m &A, tax or any of the other businesses. I've been particularly fascinated to see the niche we've created in the Japanese business. So going forward, I think their strategy will have to focus on developing engagement relationships with businesses. They are the ones who will drive investment into India. Through the years, I think there is not a single year or a single month that I can say that you know I've got sort of bored with the monotony that uh, with, with the monotony that typically a CA profession brings. It's like a microcosm of all that you can learn from a different or a very number of people. So each person is something I take away a different thing from. From like Rajiv, it's been patience. From Malini, it's been instinct. Uh, from Ajay, it has been the sheer art of communication. I would be completing 10 years in few months from now. 
so I joined them as an associate. Uh, I'm a third year director now. Uh, it has been uh, a long journey. We've been able to you know, apply our own styles and way of working, uh, which has always been appreciated. And uh, it's just a very nice environment to work in. It's a really fantastic work environment. Uh, I feel that in, at BMR, they really focus on encouraging the young people. It's a very young firm. It's, uh, it has all young people around. So you have those, that enthusiasm and you know, the, that passion and focus towards work. Shell as an organization has been associated with, with the BMR founding team and some of its founding members uh, since the Anderson days. And as a client, Shell has moved uh, with the BMR team uh, from Anderson to EY uh, to BMR. For the past one and a half years, we've had a very difficult uh, tax case. And I think that's when uh, the partnership really, uh, you know, really blossomed, I would say. I really thank them and the teams who supported them for getting Shell through the rough patch that we were in last year. And I look at BMR for is the approachability of all its senior partners, yeah, which I do not find in, in a lot of other organizations. Ethical conduct. Uh, there is complete confidence I have in BMR uh, professionals. Any information we give them will be treated in a very confidential, ethical manner for the good of the customer. Guys are very smart, very creative. They are able to connect the dot and come up with some very interesting solutions. You know, as a team, as they put together, not just their own insights, but uh, clearly articulate that these are the aspects which you should keep in mind. These are the things which could be a bone of contention with the various uh, authorities. Putting that entire piece together with the domain expertise which each of these gentlemen and their teams down the line carry uh, really makes a difference. I met BMO, get acquaintance with BMO back in year 2005. This is the first time for me to see the Indian advisor or Indian consultant. First thing is uh, they try to hear what I want to do. They sort it out. Trust, confidence, results, all of these things that come through uh, experience. And in the case of BMR, I'm happy to say that uh, again and again, even in my different avatars as I have moved on professionally, um, BMR have always been around in one format or the other. We would like to have many of our partners doing advocacy with the government, with the policy makers on infrastructure, on financial markets, on banking, on telecom, on tax policies. So I think a bundle of all these would mean great opportunities for firms like us to do advocacy with the government. And then we were the only professional services firm that made representations to the FIPB. So advocacy is something that comes naturally to many, many partners in the firm. BMR can be one of the biggest influences because they have the network, they have the wherewithal, they have a presence which is there in the corporate world and uh, they can truly get into creating certain white papers or roadmaps which could shape the country of tomorrow. We are a very driven organization and we push our people very hard and, and we push ourselves very hard and, uh, and I don't think that anyone makes any, uh, cuts any slack as far as effort is concerned. If you're serving clients and if you're in a, in a service business, uh, then, then the client is at the center of everything that happens. And I think what we want from people is that passion, uh, you know, that little extra which uh, goes beyond the normal call of duty uh, to that stretch which you build into everything that you do. The vision of the firm said we want to be uh, the best in class. Uh, you know, we want to be an admired professional services firm. And that vision then is supported by our core values of passion for excellence when it comes to serving clients, respect for our people, respect for our clients, respect for the regulators. We are very passionate, we are very driven to solve our clients' problems. We can go to any extent. I think that is what defines us and that is what is valued by our clients.
hire people keeping in mind a horizon that hiring is not just completing your job but retaining them, training them and making them the best in class professionals is even more critical because that creates the punch for client service.